So the final step that we've got is just to set some reminders. So from the SharePoint site or any of your Office 365 sites, if you click on the menu in the corner, you'll, you'll see that you have Flow listed as one of the applications there. So we're just going to open that up. Um, for those who haven't used Flow, it's a, a, a workflow based tool which can connect on different items. You have your own flows. And as of fairly recently, you now have team flows. So if you have more than if you have several people working together, you can share those and make sure that if you leave that they, the information isn't lost. You've got various templates you can create, which you can look at. But for today, let's just create a blank template from there. And there's two types of actions you can have on there. There's the uh, the triggers. And these are of the, the first point at what you want to trigger. So for example, you could trigger manually with a button using the mobile app, or as we're going to do in this case, uh, just, just quickly to show you, there's, there's plenty of triggers connected to many, many different, um, both Microsoft and non-Microsoft applications on there. But we're just gonna go down to the schedule one. If I can uh, find it, there it is. So this will set items to happen on a schedule. And we're going to click and use that recurrence there. So let's say we want it to happen on a daily basis, uh, every day. And there, so we'll set the interval and set the time zone there to uh, UK. Or so you'd set it to whichever uh, of yours that you're based in. And we're just going to set a start time. So I want this to start tomorrow. So 08 March 2017. And I want to get a reminder at uh, 0800. So this will start from tomorrow. This will send me a daily, th this will trigger a daily flow. And then what, what do I want to get from that? Let's have a look at the different actions we can have. So what we want to do is get some sort of notification. So you can see there's a set of notifications you can get there. We can set a mobile notification. I think that sounds like a, a good option. So let's give that a try. And that will create a connection up to your mobile device, create a message. Don't forget your daily tasks. And you can add a link to that. Now, interestingly, links, I'm just going to open up uh, Power Apps, the web Power Apps again. And because you can actually provide a link directly to the application. And when you use that via your uh, mobile device, that will also open the app directly for you. So if we bring back the list of apps there, and you can see my daily task one. Uh, and if I click on info for that, you can see that there's a web link there directly to that app. And I'm just going to copy that and paste it into link. Open app. And we'll create that flow. And you can see that saving and uploading it there. And once that's done, we can click on done. Now, obviously, I'm sure you'd love to sit here and have me nat at you um, all day until tomorrow morning for that link to come through. But you can actually click on here and run that now. So run the flow and it will send a notification. And if I click over to here, you'll see don't forget your daily tasks. And if I click on that, you can see the click has opened the link. And there we go. Uh, can open my app it's opened it up in flow and very quickly I can open my daily task link with a daily reminder on there now just because uh, I did that notification that may not be what you want you may not want to um, be bombarded with um, mobile notifications you maybe uh, want to sit with email so you could connect up with your office 365 email and send an email instead you could create a calendar item uh, you could create a uh, Yammer post. Let's, let's try that. A less intrusive way, perhaps, and more connected to what you want. And if you just, just show you here, you can search for Yammer. And let's post a message. Uh, now, because I haven't used Yammer on this uh, with Flow for a little while, it's just asking me to sign in. So I'm going to be using my same tenant. Gives us that. In fact, you can see it's picking up and recognizing that uh, this account and it's not quite ready. 
that. And then just while it's quick on those, I'll take off the emails because I don't want to be bombarded with 20 different things all at the same time. Let me go say you can post it to a specific group on there. Let's, uh, let's post it to all company because that's what everyone wants to see. Me being reminded about my tasks on a regular basis. And add some text. Let's have a look with tasks. Link copied. Boom. And we can update that flow. So you can see very quickly two different ways of sending alerts. You could either have it bombard both. Uh, you could think of ways of giving your uh, different users options to do different things, maybe set up different, uh, different ways of doing that. So that's firing off. And if I open up my Yammer. And what's nice here, you can see as it goes along, as it runs, you can see the step moves and tick dynamically without having to keep refreshing the page and seeing what's happening. You can see from flow what's going on and uh, while my Wi-Fi fights valiantly, it should hopefully load up, show my content and you can see there, don't forget your tasks. And we can click on that link and go straight into the power up. So as I said, very powerful, very quick and easy. Within about an hour, we've created an app, we've set up reminders, we've got easy things to do. What I'd like to talk to all about is if you have remembered your tasks, you probably don't want to be notified of it. And this is where some of the limitations of flow as, as it evolves have started to kick in. So at the moment, you can't say, if I have a certain count of things, then don't do it. But what I want to explore in my next post is to look at how we can extend Flow with a custom API and add some cleverer, th cleverer things to it. But for now, on the three daily tasks app, thank you very much.